We give you thanks for this opportunity to come together to honor, celebrate, and give thanks for the life of Chadwick, Chadwick Boseman. But coming to Augusta, Georgia to sit down and talk to us was the key. We teased him. We told him he was a little too tall <laughs> to, to be the godfather. But he laughed, we laughed, and he said, but I'm gonna make y'all proud. And God knows he did. He made us very proud. And I tell you, he had that, that walk. He had that James Brown stride. <laughs> but I tell you, every time I see it, it I, I chill bumps. I, I, I just, I, it amazes me how this young man just threw his whole mind, body, soul, and spirit in everything he did. And it made me feel good that he didn't waste that trip coming to speak with us. He took everything we gave him and used it. I didn't sleep Friday night because I looked at him as a younger brother, although he played my father. He kept in touch with my son. Him and my son worked together on the film. And he would say, you know, Mom, this, this, this dude's cool. He's not, he's not here for all of that, that, that Hollywood stuff. He's, he's here to be real and true to the character. And he did it at an excellent level. Because to me, he is the epitome of black excellence. How could he play those roles and be ill? It's a testament of his faith. It's a testament to how he was raised. And Black Panther, our first superhero, Black superhero. The weight that he had to carry knowing what he knew about these people. I didn't know Mr. Robinson. I did not know Mr. Marshall. But I knew James Brown. Sorry.